Will I ever be free? Will I ever be free of this tormenting life after death? To exist as a ghost wandering around in my own despair, just longing to be put back to rest. I remember how peaceful the long wait was. There I was, sleeping in my ancient tomb, without a thought to the living, complete solitude. I was not being a bother to anyone living, but all of that was snatched away from me many years later. Everything I had in life, and even in death, were all taken away, gone, and still, I don't know why to this day, and I probably never will. Suddenly the past came rushing back to me. I remember who I was, yet still not why I am here. I never, I never did any ill deed in my life. I was born a human for Christ's sakes. Not this, this fiend, this creature lurking through the shadows. And mad with anguish as I gloss over everything I have lost, the legends of campfire, campfire tales and nightmare fuels, the scary stories that the small boys tell in the dark. But all I was left is this damn mask that taunts me so that I can never be separated from it. Everywhere I go, it trails behind me. Everything I turn, it would follow me like a lost puppy dog. I passed by a grave, Lavender Town was its name, to be exact, or at least the town's name. The cemetery did not really have one that anybody know, knew about. There were many rumors and hoaxes surrounding it, stories of how the dead came back to life and haunted the living, the stories of buried corpses sucking victims in or of ghastly hands clasp clasping around the living, the most frightening of them all being a ghost, a devil granting its trainer immense power just to take it away. But all I have to ask is why? What sick, twisted monster would torture us so? I took out the mask. My mask. Except, it was not always a mask. It was once my face. Hesitant, frail tears came to its eyes as I gazed upon it. My face was once so beautiful. All I could do was stare at the mask and weep silently to it, to myself. I can never be free.